Attack! Yow! What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to our match for the night. We have some great ESA infight. Top level of 6v6 TF2 coming your way. We're going to see one of the top two teams, at least as determined by the result of the last ESEA LAN, um, as well as that little XTV qualifier tournament for I-46. I'm talking, of course, about Classic Mix-Up. And uh, we're going to see them face off against the very serious Space Whales, formerly known as Seriously Bro. Supported by Zacro, we want to give a big shout out to uh, the Space Whales and their crew. They are going to be having a uh, chip in for their land travels. Um, it is up, but uh, I will be posting it on our Twitch TV uh, while we uh, are casting Space Whales so that you guys can send them some uh, intergalactic love. But, anyways, that is uh, neither here nor there. We are at Koth Viaduct. Going to see some awesome action on this pro version. Uh, I'm your host, x -Don. If you didn't gather that already, uh, I am joined tonight, though, by DJ C. What's up, John? What's up, Big x -Don? I'm just chilling, looking forward to probably what's going to be the best match of the first half of this ESEA season. I'm not sure when we're going to get our first Leviathan versus Mixup match. But in the meantime, this will have to do. I mean, it's two of the top three teams playing each other in week two. What more can we really ask for? Yeah, and uh, to, to quickly pull up some uh, schedules and to answer your questions... Uh, no uh, longer away than week three. So that is nice. next week. Snake Water, Classic mix -up versus Leviathan Gaming. And uh, those teams are going to be fresh off the plane from I-46 coming back and then throwing down in the ESEA League. So that's definitely something to look forward to. Yeah, and that's going to be right off of I-46. I'd like to see if there's an LG mix-up matchup so we can get some bad blood brewing through the season. They're the two teams mm. that everyone expects to make the LAN finals. I mean, if they make I-46 finals, which a lot of Europeans are actually predicting, could set the stage for some pretty good drama this season. Yeah, that would really be amazing. Um, not only because, um, you know, something that we haven't really made public, but, you know, the players, we have reached an agreement with the players from when we signed them to the contract, that they are, are willing to share uh, some of their prize money to, to help us reach our, our even balance with Salamancer. Um, so, you know, a, a top two final would be amazing. Um, we are pretty excited about that. Uh, pretty excited about both teams' chances. Pretty excited about the field uh, being fielded by the Europeans. Uh, because, you know, this isn't, I don't know, for, for a second there, you know, people were kind of readying up the excuses, you know, of like, uh, yeah, well, you know, this isn't really going to be our best showing because, you know, so-and-so is not going to be able to make it and so-and-so doesn't want to come and this other team, you know, they're kind of taking it off. And no, that's that's not the case. You know, we have Epsilon, we have Infused. And in fact, um, I have a lot of projects to do tonight, but one of my projects is putting together um, a new audio that we did um, uh, between myself and, and Comedian of the i40 grand finals and one of the maps from that there's an old extra uh, x television episode if you want to just go google that you know after this and not wait for the one tomorrow um and that one is just me solo you know and i still had that old video around without commentary so comedian and i sat down we talked it over and we went through it and it was a ton of fun watching it and the crazy thing that we talked about pre-game is um three guys from dignitas are on um uh, I'm, I'm gonna mess this up. I'm pretty sure they're on Infused, and then um, three guys uh, from yeah, three guys from Epsilon uh, are still on Epsilon. So you know that's really cool. That like back at I40, you know they had this awesome team, and three of those players are playing with other great players at the I46 land, and Europe is totally showing up with their best. Not just those two teams, but there's like six other very qualified European teams that are gonna be in attendance. I'm so hyped for it. I'm so hyped. Yeah, the uh, European equivalent to the invite the division is called the Premiership. We're getting pretty much every Prem team uh, at I-46. We're going to have, in addition to Epsilon and Infused and TCM Gaming, who are the top three, we're going to have Punchline, representing the French part of the uh, European TF2. We're going to have Quarantine, which is a lot of Swedish players. Uh, we're also going to have Deserto, who are the newly promoted people, some Finns, some uh, British people in there. There's one other team I think I'm forgetting that's also coming. But yeah, there's a ton of top talent going to be there. Mm -hmm. It's going to be a really sick show. It's pretty much the best set of teams that a LAN in TF2 has ever fielded. 
Yeah, without a doubt. I mean, you can look at some of the ESCA lands, including what this last one was stacked up to be. And I mean, you know, you still have to be honest. I mean, and as you mentioned, you know, the, on paper, the number of teams that are coming and what they're coming. On paper, this land, uh, past land at ESCA was looking amazing. But, you know, having two of those teams, the teams that came in first and second, and then the top eight European teams all um, being there and competing in person, it's going to be phenomenal. Um, I want to I want to give a shout out uh, to the Australian community. Um, big ups to Oz Fortress, New Zealand Fortress. I know that there was some efforts underway to get some Australians at I-46. And, you know, I'm not saying it's too late. I'm not saying it's too late. But it, it looks pretty unlikely. Um, so shout out to those guys. But, you know, if you're listening and you're still like, I-46, you know, when is this? What's the deal? When's this happening? It's coming up this weekend. So a lot of people flying out and uh, Dr. Shadow Puppet already on his way. Uh, I'm going to be leaving on Thursday. You know, uh, Ruin, I think, is leaving soon. And um, the games start. I just did uh, the calculations, just wrote it up. The games start at uh, 5 30 uh, p.m british time which uh, minus five hours is east coast and then um minus another three hours of course for the west coast so east coast you know the games on friday are starting at noon um that's also going to be the same time that the grand finals is on sunday it's starting at at seven o'clock or sorry five o'clock their time so that would be noon um on the east coast now this is definitely if you're on the west coast if you're a tf2 this is definitely worth to, uh waking up for and, and following and uh, saturday there's gonna be games all day and if you're wondering where can i watch these games well um the casters for the event are vanilla tv great group of guys twitch.tv slash vanilla tv and uh, also their website is vanilla tf2.org and uh, they stream European uh, action, and um, they, they've taken care of it. They've taken care of all the I-Series before. So uh, very excited to, to see those guys in action. I, I can't say whether you know myself and Sal are going to make an on-air appearance. If you want to see it, I suggest you all at the Vanilla Guys and say, yo, we love you guys, but be sure to get those sideburns on the air. So tune into them um, Friday through Sunday. It's going to be fantastic. Um, and you know what? We got a great uh, display today right here with uh, Classic Mix-Up versus The Whales and uh, Leviathan Gaming versus The Chess Club. Yes, uh, two pretty good matches. The first one's going to be two top teams when we get to Chess Club and Leviathan. That's more of a it's a 2v5 kind of matchup. Chess Club do have a good chance this season. They're going to compete for the LAN. Might even be in position to upset LG here. I mean, I watched Mixup and LG scrim on Viaduct last night, and they went 4-0 in Mixup's favor. Wow. Leviathan did not look comfortable at all on this map. I know they've had some troubles with it in the past, and they're trying to reincorporate Mackie, and Mackie just plays so differently from Dave AC. That's not an easy transition, and I think it would hurt here on this map more than on any other map as well, trying to adjust because they just play such different styles. Yeah, cool. we have some aliases in here uh, in the game but it looks like mix genevieve is pure and uh i'm assuming mix barf printer is uh ruin is that correct? yeah that would be yeah. ruin and, right uh, everyone on space whales is on their proper alias uh, we have yz50 and Mezer on scout for them they're rolling with boomer as their pocket and they have blaze on roamer with dummy on demo man and they've picked up former mihai's flow demo man soup play their medic position. The mix-up roster is Enigma and Ruin on Scout, uh, Platinum on Demoman, they have TLR on Pocket, and Hard Blue on Roamer, with Pure on Medic. I don't think I mentioned his name. But I mean, it's you can just he hearing those names, like how many of those names have been mm -hmm. at the top of this game for so long, like Dummy, Hard Blue, YZ50, Platinum, Mezzer's always been there, like Enigma, Ruin, Pure. It's such a sick group of talent we have here. Yeah, and definitely on the pros, you got a little bit of the new talent as well. Um, Boomer and Blaze, both players that have been working their ways up the ranks. Blaze uh, was playing with EMG for a little bit. Uh, that's what they were known as before. Um, now, of course, Leviathan Gaming. But uh, his switch over to Soldier has really kind of uh, strengthened his gaming personality and how he impacts a TF2 game. And he's been going totally nuts on Roaming Soldier. And then uh, his partner in the soldier department is, um, you know, a, a friend of mine. We've played together before. In fact, he joined uh, the very first team that I was on, and immediately I was like, wow, this guy's got skills, and he's light years away from these other dudes. No disrespect, but, you know, 
um, that's how that went. And um, he's, you know, continued to be better, uh, you know, or sorry, just improving himself, all aspects of the game, trying to become a better demo man and a better soldier. And um, I think he's a great demo man, but I also, I think his uh, pocket soldier is maybe a little underestimated at times, although also sometimes he's a little hit or miss. He has moments that are totally crazy. And, you know, sometimes he's off his game. He's maybe not as consistent as TLR is at this point in his career. Yeah, I mean, it's it works pretty well. Like, even when Boomer has his off days, which do come a little more often than they would like. I mean, last season, especially when Diablo 3 came out, it <laughs> kind of hurt Boomer's ability. He was playing a lot of Diablo 3, like, probably ten times as much Diablo as he was TF2. So his mm-hmm. consistency suffered a bit, but I mean... Blaze is the most impactful roamer that this game has ever seen. Nobody has ever been able to take over a game on roamer the way that Blaze does. It's just, it's really insane how he can out damage every player in a server, how he can get more picks than every player in a server. And he's never going to die at a stupid time. He's always in the right position. He's always where he can do damage. He's always protecting his flank. Like, and Boomer, combined with that, like, Boomer is a really smart player. Even when he has his bad DM days, he's usually playing pretty intelligently. He's always in the right place. So he's going to be keeping his medic safe. It's a really complimentary soldier pair. I think that Boomer this season is going to be taking a big step forward, which he kind of needs to. He kind of was the weak link last LAN. It was one of his mm-hmm. bad sets of days. But I think that's a really strong soldier pair. I think that actually the Space Wells have probably improved a lot from last season. They finished uh, third at LAN last season, so, I mean, yeah. the sky's the limit now. Yeah, I'm definitely very curious to see how Soup does on Medic, and I, I think this is a pretty good... In some ways, it's a proving ground, but in other ways, it's also kind of an easy um, map for Medics. Um, I have, for example, substituted in some Viaduct games uh, for the Space Whales, like, way, way back in the past. I hadn't played any games, you know, like, all season. I'm like, can you Medic for us on, on Viaducts? Like, okay, you know, keep my head down, stay behind the rocks, I'll do fine, you know? And uh, so there's that kind of basic nature of it, but it's also such a crazy deathmatch map that there's scouts everywhere, there's soldiers bombing. You really have to be on top of your game, and I've seen so many medics have bad moments on Viaduct in ways that that change the game uh, against them. And you just have to be on point with your pushes, your calls, and and your aggressiveness. And I I haven't listened to the Space Whales communications. Um, I don't know how well they communicate, and I don't know how aggressive Soup is with his calls, but, you know, somebody's got to be leading him around, or he's got to be leading somebody else around, um, and it'll be interesting to see how he has adapted um, from that demo man position that he played very well uh, to playing Manic. Yeah, I've watched a few of his games. He played in the, uh, uh, the I-46 qualifiers briefly. I've watched a few mm-hmm. scrims. He's got the mechanical side of Medic down pretty well. I think he's really good at rocket surfing. He's on point with his crossbows. He has good movement in general. He positions himself pretty well. Like, he's never going to be taking needless damage. The problem right now just seems to be, like, the really fine points of Medic. Like, who should I flash? Should I flash my Demo Man here when he's in this position? Even though he's not in the fight, but he's 20 health, should I, uh... How much of a buff should I give to my scouts here? I mean, we got an Uber right away. Should I get them to 185? Do I have the time? That kind of stuff. Like, all the minor things that really add up over the course of a game, but he's definitely good enough to play in a top four team. I think he's probably gonna end up being one of the best land medics at Bro Mix. It looks like we're about to go live here next time. Yes, indeed, we are live with our starting match for the night. We are going to be having a second match following this up, which, you know, this map was kind of late to start. Uh, Michael, also a heads up, kind of a weird graphical glitch going on. I don't know if you have your exploit window over it, but uh, we are ready to rock here. With the Space Whales versus Classic Mixup. Things sharp and clear now. Let's see how these teams do right off this initial middle fight. Right now, we see both teams just kind of passively playing on the rocks. The scouts are getting really aggressive. Wow. Mesmer and Wise to go down instantly to ruin, but Harbly was taken down. Took some pressure away there. There was no support for the Bro Scouts. The bomb is in now, right now, from Blaze, but he is saying out rather quickly by Enigma. And that's a convincing middle one for Mixup here. But Bro are one of those teams who like to. They see right now that Mixup have the point, so Mixup have that spawn disadvantage. Space Whales could get their six up and push right away. Soup has a much faster charge, too, so they're going to charge out here with this. Always got to use things as fast as you can in um, the COD format. They have a 10% advantage, but they're not close enough to jump. Pure stand back, and then a good bomb in from uh, TLR. Pressures the pop a little bit earlier, and Pure still holding on to it. Now they're going to pop it, move in to block the capture. Pure, excellent splitting between his soldiers. Wow, and then Ruin comes in, picks up a kill. 
taken out Mezzer soon. Fighting on his rock, Mezzer and Blaze and doing work. Mezzer gets taken down. Actually, a little soldier combined kill over there, but TLR will come in to clean up Boomer and Blaze. The medic is down for classic Mezzer right now. There's actually a demo and soldier fight going on here. TLR on the dummy. Dummy at four health is taken out by the shotgun. Scouts out on the TLR. That's why he's getting really aggressive with a little bit of a buff and takes down TLR. Right now, the spawn advantage is in Whale's favor. They're going to come out of this with about a 20% uber advantage, and they want to move right away. They have both soldiers getting overhealed on the right, and they're bombing in, actually. Really aggressive play here from Bro. They're taking over this concrete area on the right, but mix-ups reinforcements are here. The combo and demo combined on this rock. There's good soldier spam coming out from Harbourley. Here comes the bomb. Gets juggled on the other rock by Mezzer and Boomer and taken down. Yeah, TLR is just getting to the fight, so that was a very smart attack by the Whales. They knew that there was no uber charge on the field, and they knew that they had the number advantage. With this pressure that they've exerted, they're doing a lot of work. Pure O just picks up a health pack. He had to run back to the cliffside pack, and um, Mixup's fallen back a little bit, but they've gotten a couple frags, so let's see if they can get in here and do work. Soup does have the uber charge available to him. Platinum going down. Yeah, right now the uber is in Whale's favor. Mixup are going to get it, though, and I think we're just going to see another repush here. This is kind of how Viaduct has changed over the past few seasons people used to sit and just wait and try and force the uber but now it seems like hell we have uber too let's just shove it in there and see what happens soldier bomb coming in on the right here that's blaze again but he gets denied rather quickly mix up popping uber into the enemy team here whales counter pop whales about to flash a lot though the scout comes in late for mix up take a little bit of the flash but the uber advantage is to mix up here but everyone stays alive until Ruin oh. picks Mezzer right there and a nice little pipe from platinum will take down boomer there's a soldier in deep hard blue way behind wow. YZ50 making a nice pick on a Platinum, could swing the tide here, but oh, TLR makes a pick on the Blade. Numbers are just too strong in mix-up advantage right now, and Enigma will come in and clean up Dummy. It's just Mezzer and the Medic alive right now, so Wales have to back it up and wait for their reinforcements to come. Yeah, I knew he was playing big, I was about to call it out, but Ruin, 11 points, that is one I had a pure time you're outpacing the Medic, that definitely is a good sign. Yep. Uh, right now we see uh, Uber Advantage is slightly in Mixup's favor. I mean, Ruin is having a huge game right now. But he's yeah, getting a Whale's lot of pushing from his wins. team. Yeah, but Ruin is getting a lot of support from his team right now. Mixup are positioning themselves quite well right now, but Whales do want to retake this. They're probing onto concrete here. They're actually stacking it. There's just two players on the right side here for Mixup right now. And the tunnel is where all the action is. Both roamers, both scouts getting it in right there. But the Ubers pop in deep and super good down. No Uber here for Space Whales. The health is pretty bad on the rest of the players as well. TLR getting out of the fight. There is YZ50 wow. sneaking in right now, but he is forced back. Too many players down for Space Whale. And Boomer shut out as he was trying to get on pure. Um, yeah, and I think that maybe, you know, had been a sign of what we were talking about in terms of medic mechanics and stuff. It was like they were so far forward that they were like, well, let's just make them think we have it and try to pressure a pop. And then they backed up, but then at that point they should have known that Mixup had the, that the Uber. Pure rightly decided, like, no, jump him, jump him. He doesn't have Uber. As Soup got jumped, went down, and now they're in a tough spot. They've lost a lot of time on the clock. They're forced to push in here. I don't think it's going to work out. There's a soldier on the point. Ruin is taking down. That's the key pick, but oh, wow. nobody can get there in time. Yeah. Mixup with too strong of a position. There's a few moments that actually tell me a lot about how Mixup have evolved. Back in the day, if TLR were getting solo Ubers like this, he would be pushing all the way in deep. But he seems to have reined himself in a little bit. He's using the Ubers very intelligently, staying mm -hmm. back a little bit so he can get more damage and not risk his medic's life. Yeah, that's very key. Uh, this concept to using an Uber charge. Good damage on Soup right away, but two down for Mixup. Soup's just going to regen, stay in the fight. There's a lot of damage coming out of Platinum right now. Mixup actually have to give this up entirely, but here comes the counter jump out of TLR as the soldier for Space Wells is up top. But YZ50 coming around the flank, cleans up Enigma and TLR. He's pushing to the spawn. Wow. YZ50 is not done yet. Gets in on Platinum right now. Gets some good damage wow. on Platinum. Takes him down to 27, but just too much support there. That's the classic YZ play. Kill two guys and not be satisfied at all and just try and go see who else you can meet shot. YZ50 playing pretty well um, right now. He's got some nice frags. They got to counter Ruin as a team somehow. I just noticed somehow oh. Dummy sitting on zero points right now. I'm not entirely sure Ouch. how. I haven't been watching him. Don't know what's going on. But we do see two down right now for Space Whales. And Harblue is in deep, distracting really well here. And he's not even going to get cleaned up. The wow. Flash comes to him. Here comes the late bomb from Platinum. Pinching out the Medic. Soup is getting juggled. But Platinum oh. will die over the trade there. Maybe not the best trade, especially since they have the long spawn now. Wales could use this as a timing push opportunity. But Soup just has so little health. Here comes the bomb from Harblue. He gets stuck in the air, but he's double bombing directly into that corner. And Soup oh, go down. Yeah. Huge play from Harblue. And they knew Soup was so uh, so hurt that he, he grabbed that health pack. 
he still only had like 80 health, which isn't much survival when you got a soldier like Harblue coming in at you. Yeah, now the Uber is 60% for classic mixer. Things are going to slow down slightly just because Mixup only have three players up. Here comes that deep bomb from Ow. as this Boomer. I can't even tell oh, if he gets hit. Boomer. Too much scout and demo there for him to do anything, but this is an opportunity oh. for Space Wells. Ooh, not many more blaze down as well. No soldiers up for Space Wells. You can't really push. Here comes the bomb in, though. Harbour is in deep on the enemy cliff here, just jumping around inside the base. And it's super go down in the meantime. There's so many angles being attacked from Mixup wow. here. Yeah, this game is uh, crazy back and forth. I mean, uh, Pure and Mixup have the advantage, but just these frags, trading frags left and right. And Mixup have the full Uber on point right now with a minute and 50 on the clock. It's only about a 30 second advantage. But just because the Uber oh. percent here, they may be able to take. Soldier bombs in, leads the push, wow. but Boom gets taken out. Actually, they do get the force. Not entirely sure where the pop came there. Maybe they thought Soup is a bit overextended, but Soup is way out right now. And there's a soldier what? in the air, hardly down. What? <laughs> TLR with some pretty good positioning in the enemy house, getting some good damage down, but it was just going to back up, dummy down as well. But now Space Wheels have the advantage, but this might be a designed play by Mixup, see if they can force Space Wheels to push into this heavy that just came up. Enigma with that stacked 450 health just sitting on the rock at the back of point right now. It's going to be very difficult to push into, especially since whales are running this cookie cutter lineup here. Yeah, Enigma perhaps learning some tricks from his time playing Highlander. Bring out the heavy. Yeah, man. Pretty strong in Highlander right now. We see Dummies trying to get aggressive on this point, but Platinum doing some good damage. Ruined down on the flank, however. That's going to be a huge opening, but Enigma's still there. But the problem for Mixup, I think, they have four classes just sitting together. The only one out there is the Roamer. The Uber is popped. TLR goes in deep. It's a nice rocket on assuming forces. And you can see the smart play from Enigma here. He just gets all the way out of the fight. Does not want to ruin those crit heals. He wants to come back in with 450 health. And he does so. Dummy and this soldier trying to focus him down. But Platinum getting so much free damage will take down Boomer. The bomb from Harblue is going to clean up everything. As soon as TLR takes down Dummy and Soup. That's just a brilliant play from Enigma. I mean, he distracted every single player, and Platinum got about 400 damage out there on those stickies. Yeah. Yeah, definitely a good play. Um, pure surviving well, using that uber well. Uh, soup taking that damage, but uh, just all the uh, action going on on the sides, not enough for whales to make something happen there. There's a scout hiding above right now that's ruined. He's just going to not jumpers. Nice roamer battle on the side that blazes one. But there's three seconds on the clock. I'm not sure that whales can actually get on the point here. The silver bomb comes in so late, but the heaviest air juggles in. That's two rounds to mix up. Looks like my 4 3 prediction that I made on ESEA is <laughs> not actually going to come true. This is looking pretty bad for the whales right now. Yeah, I mean, you know, there's there's still hope, but definitely the whale's going to have to do a lot to turn around. Boomer and Blaze just kind of getting showed up a little bit. They're getting picked out of the air, whether it's from Platinum, TLR. They're getting shut down with their jumps. And then Dummy, obviously, three points. He's got to, like, contribute to the team a little bit more. Not quite sure what's happening there. Here comes the big bomb from Blaze in deep on the right. Harblue getting a bit out of position here, but Blaze is so weak that he can stay on quickly. Oh. Mix up look like they have control of this point. YZ50 is down as well. Scott plusing Ouch. forward onto Boomer takes him down. Soup down as well. Late bomb from Harblue there. Wow. Wow. Destruction, dude. Yeah, you're gonna see how it all comes together. One frag on the flank. Blaze ends up in behind. Everyone turns mm -hmm. around to deal with Harblue who gets behind as well, but Mixup realized Blaze isn't a threat. He's so low. We can just kill everyone else here. Blaze isn't gonna do anything. And you see, yeah. bam, 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 three more frags come in. And Boomer kind of got left, uh, hung out to dry, but at that point, you know, Soup did the, the smart thing by running for the hills. Didn't end up getting cleaned up, but, you know, nobody else was there for Boomer when he was behind the rock. It was just too much. But the whale's trying to come in now. Hardblue is on Medic. He's taking some damage, so I wonder if he's been spotted or not. He is. Watching right now. He's back on the health pack, so it looks like he's pretty clear. In the meantime, Blaze goes down, trades for Ruin. He's probably going to accept that trade. Whales want to get aggressive here, but look at this good positioning for Mixup all bunched on this rock. They can deny any jumpers. I'm still watching Harblue. He's just trying to run in directly on the cliff. Wow. He uncloaks. Has to have been spotted. But Mixup got... taking this opportunity to get aggressive here. Yeah, he got bumped into. Now they finally, like, pin him down. He created a good amount of chaos, though. Kind of slowed things down. No pressure of a equal pop. And again, uh, an air shot slows down the momentum of Boomer. Yeah, they're just denying Boomer and Blaze so much of the aerial space, and Blaze is just so good in the air on this map. On the ground, it's so hard to actually hit anything because of the terrain. But Dummy will get a great pick on here. Platinum here and also takes down Enigma. And now it looks like there's going to be a bomb coming in from TLR. 
but he's gonna get out safely. And the counter jump actually oh. coming. There's a distraction. Oh. Hard blues in oh, deep on wow. the medic. Nice surf, from, nice surf from soup. As dummy cleans up TLR and hard blue, soup staying alive there despite the immense pressure coming on from hard blue. Yeah, that was uh, some good plays by the whales. Mezer had a couple nice frags in there, and just able to finally you know bring a team effort and defeat Mixup as a team. Yeah, right now Mixup are trying to come as a team on this right side here. They want to get aggressive, but they've taken so much entryway damage. Bruin will pick YZ50, but look at all the red health on Mixup. And there's going to be a bomb coming in here, and Harbour will go down as well. Two picks on each side, no hard blue, no Enigma, but Mezzer and YZ50 down, so no flank here for the Space Whales, it's just Blaze. Mix up no, this wow. is their opportunity. But the Uber comes out here from Space Whales, gonna be a big oh. solo Uber on Boomer, the counter does come. Multis on both sides, but it looks like Mixup's gonna have the better of this. TLR's in deep and quick, it's air shot by TLR. A little bit of a technical air shot, two feet off the ground. Wow, yeah, we, we got that on camera, and that was pretty glorious by TLR. Not the most technical one, but you know, sometimes it's just gotta be simple and easy to be fantastic. Yeah, man, and TLR definitely is fantastic. He's still shaking off some of that rust. His shotgun isn't quite as good as it used to be, but that rocket aim has never left him. Now, mix up have a 45% Uber advantage holding point here. There's only about a 50 second advantage. By the time the Uber is in force for Space Wells, if they even want to let it get that far, it would be a nice big advantage. Space Wheels are making their entry into this middle point here. TLR's just sitting behind that rock, shooting rockets over. Platinum coming over the cliff here, unspotted, wow. unpressured. He's getting so much damage out. Mezzer and Super will go down. Big bomb from Harblu that takes the medic away once again. So many times Harblu there in the clutch to take away any chance Wells have of pushing. Yeah, Mixup is just going to take this right back. It really wasn't enough to that point. But a lot of damage on Dummy. Dummy, oh, taken out by a long range Platinum Sticky. Very nicely played in that fight there. And yeah, just an instant retake. They pop Uber just so that they can build it again. Yeah, the good oh. thing here for Space Wheel. Ooh, big play by Mezzer takes down Pure. Actually, yeah. I was going to say the good thing for Wales is that they have even Uber, but now they have a pretty big advantage. Oh. Seven seconds ago on the spawn time, but Super go down. Yeah, Ruin making ruined. a big play. Oh, man. Just runs right past uh, whoever it was that Soup was healing. Um, I think it was one of the scouts. And then just laid a couple shots into him. Uh, definitely yeah. awkward positioning there, you know, just standing in that middle area with your scout and him just kind of right in front of you. You need that splash damage to your feet so that you can just run to your pocket instead of running away from him. Looks like Mixup might be pretty dominant on this map right now. You can see the bomb coming in here, Blaze hitting a nice air shot on Harblu in the flank, but they both go down in the process. Wales could use this opportunity. I mean, Harblu has been creating so much distraction. A scout goes down, two nice rockets in from Boomer, but Space Wells need to get on the point. They've gotten so many good picks here, but they have to go on the point, on the point right now. 60% Uber up for Mixup. It's just TLR and Pure alive. 50% for the Space Whales. The fact that they have the point should give them plenty of time to build this back up. And then it's just a matter of holding it. I think we've only seen them actually control the point once or twice so far. And clearly didn't go their way when they came to the defense. You can see the flank side push here from Mixup. They get Blaze on the entryway, but everyone on Mixup is clustered behind this little plank right now. But here comes the ball from Harblue. Jumping in deep onto the demo man. Dummy is really hurt backing up behind his rock on 50 oh. health. Uber wow. comes in from classic mix-up. YZ50 is down. In fact, mix-up are flooding behind the enemy lines. Platinum will go down to dummy, and Soup is still alive on point. Here comes the bomb in from the soldier. TLR will get uh, TLR and Harbly will get dummy down, and Mezzer will go down as well. Soup is taken out by the scouts. Enigma and Ruin doing such work here. Becomes Blaze though onto this medic. Hits a great first rocket. Can he finish him oh, off? Oh, oh the equalizer! The escape plan, excuse me, the big pick from Blaze at the end of the fight. Best part of this for Space Whales, wow. they kept control of this point the entire time. Yeah, YZ50 coming in right at the end there gets the uh, first respawn because he was one of the, the first ones to go down. The fight is just going to straight up continue though as a mix up just trying to flood in here. Um, Dummy getting uh, picked at a little bit. Jump in by Boomer. You now he's getting uh, forced back a little bit. Oh, yeah. So we do see that the aggression is trying to come from Mixup though, and they do take Dummy down, but Harbour goes down as well. Might actually be an even trade oh, here. Soup getting an Uber sauce swipe on the point. Oh, uh, just couldn't do it. Good half. Yeah. That was a that was a good Uber sell right there. Soup doing what he could, but yeah, they're just having such tough luck with their uh, positioning on this map. Need to tighten up a little bit more. You know, I keep seeing like one player, you know, poking a little bit. And then he like turns around and is like, oh, well, I'm just going to back out of here. And then all of a sudden, there's like three guys from Mixup that are just right on top of him. So, you know, really what Mixup seems to be doing is just picking them apart and apart that pack, 
one at a time, you know, getting a kill here. And then all of a sudden, you know, then there's another guy who's not as defended as he should be. They pick up another frag there, and then it's just starting to steamroll out of control. Check Classic out this mix-up, so mix aggressive. Up. They're running a heavy with Ruin and Spy with Hard Blue. Very interesting here, actually. Might just be a little distraction play with a heavy, but you can see this is giving them a very slow rollout. The soldier actually, the bomb coming in here from Space Whales right on that heavy. Enigma will go down on the flank, but Boomer just gets annihilated by the heavy. And Harblue right now is sneaking up to the point. He's behind the enemy rock. Unseen. Soup is going to go down. Oh, Soup down to Harblue. Big spy play. It takes oh. that dummy as well with a little bit of a butter knife. Big play there. Nice strat from pistol. Mix Up. Yeah, definitely a great strat because, you know, Harblue is such a bomber. And they've just been, you know, totally harassing the whales with bombs. And to the point, you know, that they're just scared of like, oh, you know, where, where's, where's Hardlu? Where's he coming from? And then, you know, they, they're still focused on early and you don't even, you can't even process, you know, in the madness of a middle fight that, that they're just like, okay, we're doing good. You know, they don't realize that they're not doing good be, or that they're doing good because Hardlu hasn't bombed them, you know? And he, here he comes again as spies. He's going to at least get one stab on Boomer. Now he's just swiping away, but he does get shotgun down. Um, don't think Soup got a Uber Sauce swipe there, but still, Harblu gets his trade in. Uh oh, right now, Pure is on 85% Crits Krieg with his scout hmm. back at spawn. They were going to try and push over a little timing player with the crits, but with the wipe there, they're not going to be able to, so the Uber will be up for Space Whales. It looks like Space Whales actually might want to be playing this really far forward. Soup is positioned on the concrete right now, which is not where you want to be holding your medic. Especially against a Crits Creek here. As soon as they spot the Medic, the Crits is actually popped. Platinum coming out of the flanks. Gets wise even to do with the first sticky. Boomer goes down as well. The TLR and Enigma. Counter Uber does come from Space Wiz, but they can't save their pocket or their aggressive scout. And this is exactly what makes it want to dummy down as well. That is not how you want an Uber to go. Here comes the aggression. Big bomb from Platinum wow. in behind. TLR cleaning up Mezzer in the meantime. Harblue is jumping in. Soldier and Medic back oh. right for Space Wiz. Here comes Harblue. Two big rockets. Finishes super around the corner. Great shot from Harblue. Blaze wow. down as well. Harblu is such a fantastic jumper. Uh, that was just absurd. I wish I could jump like him. Uh, you gotta practice and jump it for hours and hours if you want to do that next time. We yeah. see the mix up even getting even more picks out here, but Dummy will clean Oof. up TLR and Enigma. There's enough down on each side that Space Wheels could consider a retake here. In fact, that's what they're gonna do. Dummy trying to get aggressive here, but just gets denied so easily by Platinum. Crits is almost back up about two, three seconds left. Here comes the bomb as well. Oh, oh soup down God. again. Wow, they have to adjust for this. They have to understand that if Hardblue sees Soup anywhere near a wall that he can shoot a rocket at and instantly do 50 to 70 damage to Soup, he's gonna take that chance. Yeah, no matter how far away Hard Blue is. And Mezzer's on Spy, um, it's like he, oh no, then gets body blocked. I think he was, pretty sure he was spotted there. How could he not be? She has a sticky eye at his feet. And, uh, oh, there we go. TLR takes him out. Yeah, Mezzer tried for a little bit of a side stab, a little strafe action, but it just didn't work. Crits is actually popped here on the right on TLR. We'll take down YZ50. Oh. Almost gets that soldier, just gets it out around the corner. Well, I, taking think, uh, position on this I think house. Enigma actually ran into that rocket, um, which might have stopped it. Very possible, but you see Boomer and the Medic right now. Soup moving out on his right side. There is a soldier right there, TLR, but he will surf that rocket away. I'm looking for Harbler right now. I want to see if that bomb's coming, but he's actually up on Spy. Dummy down on the entryway to Platinum. Uh, Space Whales can't afford to lose their demo or their rover on a push here. They got 45 seconds on the clock for mix up left. Measure will take down Enigma, but Whales have 85% right now. Need to get aggressive here. They can't face another crit screen. There's no way they'll survive it. And you can see the oh. scout getting really aggressive. Great rocket from TLR. We don't know if we caught that on camera, but that was a sick air shot into shoddy finish. And the crits is popped here. Directly at a point. Nice reaction time from Soup to keep it up. Platinum now overextended, but you can see how deep this combo wants to go. They take down TLR. They don't want Pierre getting out of this alive because they're going to have to face yet another crits, but Space Wolves do take control of the point right now. There is still kind of in, but he's very smart positioning. He's ready to escape if he needs to. Yeah, and you Providing can as out. much heals as possible. Platinum down at 10, finally taken out. But Ooh, uh, Enigma gets Enigma. two kills. It's actually a three kill oh. for Enigma. TLR going crazy on Blaze right there, but YZ50 is in deep. 2v1 here right now with Enigma and Ruin on, and YZ pulls out the fish just to surrender and gets taken down. This will be a mix-up recap, but there is 50% Uber up on the Space Wells right now. Mezzer can't build at the moment, doesn't have the Basher out. 80% Crits Creek up from mix-up though. Another Crits, this is exactly what the Space Wells didn't want. They never want to see this again. They can't survive this many Crits pushes into them in a row. 
You can see Boomer tries to go in. They want to take that crit away, but they just lost Dummy and Boomer and Soup on the entryway. Push Harbly doing work in deep. There's no chance that Whales are going to get to this. Wow. Mix up are going to take this four to nothing. Yeah. Um, pretty devastating play. Now it seems like Enigma is taking the lead on the scout roll. It's definitely had some great combinations. Um, there was a absolutely sick moment. We actually saw really quickly um, Blaze hitting an air shot on Harblue. And then that was when TLR came storming in, hit him with a rocket. Blaze went flying. And then TLR, the sick connector, takes out Blaze. Um, you know, I, I think that's just the, destruct, the destructive nature of classic mix-up. I mean, you look at every single player that they have in a, in a deathmatch class, and we saw Ruin absolutely explode out of the gates and just thrash everybody. Um, and then we saw, you know, just hard blue, crazy jumping, pulled out some spy, going for some craziness. Um, TLR just holding down pocket, keeping pure safe, very strong Ubers from TLR. Enigma coming right in at the end. But uh, fantastic game. We're going to be coming up with a second match. Uh, match is going to be uh, Leviathan Gaming versus the Chess Club. And uh, we're going to take a quick little break here, and then we will be right back with some more ESCA Invite TF2 action. Stay tuned.